This is the second of our series of lectures on equivalence relations. And uh, in this lecture, I'm going to give another example of an equivalence relation. This is quite an important example, but it looks a little bit different from the previous ones because the underlying set A on which the relation is based is itself a Cartesian product. And we haven't seen any examples like that up to this point. So here's the relation. The underlying, we're going to call the relation T. The underlying set is n cross n. And we're going to say that element xy of n cross n is T related to element zw provided x plus w equals z plus y. So it's x plus w equals z plus y. Okay, so that might seem a little bit unusual to you, but as we'll see in the subsequent lectures, this is actually quite a, a significant example. So I want you to prove that T is an equivalence relation, but just as an added little twist, I don't want you to use the operation of subtraction at all. Uh, after all, this is a, a relation on n cross n, where subtraction is not a terribly natural operation. So just as an exercise, I don't want you to use any subtraction at all, but instead I want you to make use of this property. It's called the cancellation property of the natural numbers. For any three natural numbers, a, b, and c, if a plus c is equal to b plus c, then a is equal to b. Okay, so we're going to use that as a sort of an axiom, um, as a tool for us to um, prove that the T that we've given here is an equivalence relation. So what is, it, what is it you have to do to prove it? You have to prove that T is um, reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. So why don't you put your video on pause and see if you can prove that it is reflexive. So here's my proof that it's reflexive. Reflexive means you have to show that every element of the underlying set A is um, related to itself. So let xy be an element of n cross n. And what would it mean to say that xy was related to itself? x plus y would have to equal x plus y. And that's pretty obvious. So since x plus y equals x plus y, it follows that xy is t related to itself, and therefore t is reflexive. Okay, the next step is to prove that T is symmetric. Put your video on pause and see if you can write a proof that T is symmetric. Well, here's my proof that T is symmetric. I begin by giving myself two elements of the underlying set A, and I assume that the first one is related to the second one, and I have to deduce, as a consequence, that the second one is related to the first one. So I say, let x, y, and z, w be elements of my underlying set A. Suppose that the first one is t related to the second one. What does that mean? It means x plus w equals z plus y. Now I have to deduce that z, w is t related to x, y, which would mean that z plus y is x plus w. Well, that's, so um, how can we deduce that from this? Well, in fact, that's the same thing as writing this, because I just simply write it in the opposite order. And th therefore, we can say that ZW is T related to XY, and therefore T is symmetric. Well, the last step is to prove that T is transitive. So um, here I'm reminding you of the basic information. This is the underlying set. This is the definition of T. And I want you to prove that this relation is transitive. So put your video on a pause and see if you can write that proof. So this is a little bit more involved. Um, here's my proof that T is transitive. So I begin by giving myself three elements of the underlying set, and I suppose that the first one is t related to the second, and the second is t related to the third, and I have to deduce from this that um, 
that the um, first one is T related to the third one. So let's first write down what is the meaning of these two statements. This means x plus w is z plus y, and that's what I wrote here, and z plus v is u plus w, that's what I wrote here. We must deduce this, x, the first one is t related to the third one, in other words, we have to deduce x plus v equals u plus y. And I want you to do that without using any subtraction. So let's add together this equation and this equation. Those are the two equations that we have assumed to be true. If you add those together, you get this. This is x plus w plus z plus v equals z plus y plus u plus w. Now if you regroup the terms, I'm going to group this x with this v and the w with the z on the left side. And on the right side, I'm going to group the u plus the y and the z plus the w um, separately. And so we get this. And now you notice this is common to both sides. And so by the cancellation property, we deduce that this equals this. And that's exactly what it was that we wanted to prove. Um, that's what we wrote up here. That that's what we needed to deduce. Okay, so that proves T is transitive. And finally, since T is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive, T is indeed an equivalence relation. So this is actually an example we'll return to later, at which point I'll show you what is the significance of it.